All right, welcome back. The only thing I've done since last episode is I started a camp. All right, I swear to God, that's the only thing I've ever, that's the only thing I've done. It's still the same day. Um, technically I haven't slept, but that's all right. We are going to tear down this camp. And honestly, I don't really have a plan for this video yet. So let's look at the map. Um, so I'm right next to Strawberry. I think I may walk around this town a little bit, see if I can find anything. Like maybe go to the general store or sell some meat. Sell those. Sell that, uh... The wolf meat from last video. Let's do that right away. Maybe something will pop up. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Let's go, Poncho. Okay, boy. Yeah. So the thing about strawberry... Did I say Valentine earlier? I meant strawberry. The thing about Strawberry is it's a dry town, I think. They don't allow any alcohol, I think. The, the mayor... The mayor really cares about being nice, I guess. Let's sell some stuff. Ooh, wolf heart. Sell. Sell. And sell. You are bloody, my guy. So let's just walk around Strawberry, see if anything pops up here. Should I maybe buy a newspaper or something? Want a paper? Twenty-five cents. Sure. Well, thanks. See ya. So what's this town about? I can't complain too much. Damn it to hell. Is this place anything? I try not to fuck around too much. Go to the general store. Hello. Hello. Haven't seen you around. Please look around. Now, if See if I can really sell anything to this guy. Here, I'd pick up some grooming supplies for yourself and a couple of things by the door for your horse. You'll be turning heads. Well, let me see then. Coffee, I'm gonna keep. Salted offal, I can sell. Right. Snake oil. Fully restores dead eye. Um, I'm gonna sell everything. Sure, or not I'll everything, take. but I guess I'll keep my cigars. Keep my corn. Keep my peaches. Keep my baked beans. Keep my carrot. Horse medicine. Horse medicine, I'll sell. I'm going to keep the reviver, though. Horse cure. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to buy more baked beans. Cigars are way better than cigarettes for dead eye. Tobacco fully rest restores dead eye. Whether you're hurting or not, I slightly take damages dead eye core. Hair tonic. Eh. I'll let that happen naturally. 
Air pomade, don't need. Some fella came by earlier babbling that he All these guns are probably locked. North of here. Not sure what he was going on about. Crazy old fool. Sure. Should we get all Let's get all the regular ammo. Revolver. Okay. Peter cartridges. Good. Shotgun shells. Here all we right. go. Slugs, I don't really need. Arrows. Mm. Ooh, gun oil. Maybe we should buy all this. See what our guns are at. Ooh, yeah. Let's buy a coffee thing for our camp. Pocket watch. Displays the current time. Don't I already have that? I think I already have that. Horse medicine. Buy more horse reviver. There we go. Ooh, here we go. I want like a black shirt. Sounds not bad. That's a very black shirt, so maybe that one. Stand. Do I get the stand collar or just the normal? Stand collar is more is more uh, black. So let's do that one. Yeah. Oh my god, that was an expensive shirt. I heard they have any money. <laughs> I bought a shirt. Oh, that was probably a mistake. Alright, so we need money now. Maybe that will be the... Blackwater robbers are still on the loose. They got that whole town on lockdown. Yeah, that was me, wasn't it? Got what I need. All right. So I bought a shirt and I'm broke. So maybe this this episode will all be about maybe just getting some money. Cause don't I have? Wait, a satchel. I have a treasure map, I think. Yeah. I already got that one. I haven't done this one, the guy that I s stole from. It's probably pretty far away, though. So, I guess, since we're already over here, let's go to Lee, uh, do the other Strauss mission. The Thomas Downs one. The guy that broke up the fight. If you remember that. So let's do that mission. Let's get after it. I bought a shirt and now I'm broke, so let's try to get some money here. 308 PM. 47 degrees. Can I even get over there? I don't know if I can help you, buddy. Oh, God. Oh, here we go. Even if I wanted to help you. Maybe you'll give me money. Grab something for for the blood. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I was uh, done for. You saved me. Thank you. 
take something from my back for the trouble, though. I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a, take a minute now. <sighs> my leg feels like it's, like it's on fire. Here, drink this <gasps> for the pain. <sighs> I mean, a good guy. Here, thin your blood out even more. Yeah. And the thing, I almost didn't bring the trap. Okay, where's your bag? I want, I want some money. I'd be dead now, if not for you. Some ammo? Alright. Next time, I don't know if I'm gonna help anybody. See ya. See ya, partner. Alright, on the road again. It's a logging, logging crew or something. Taking a look. We're with the Appleseed Timber Company. Head for it. Instead of getting started on this site, but we should have some fine big valley lumber for sale very soon if you're interested. I'll keep that in mind. We should be further along by now, but what can you do? <laughs> look at these dolts. There's not a brain between them. Listen, you got any supplies for sale? Food? Medicine? Starting to run low. I can't spare anyone to go in town. Not the way things are going. I'd be happy to pay premium for them. Do I have it? I think I just sold everything. Oh. Some gin? So I sell them all my alcohol? He's paying good. I need money. So this is maybe not. Bad trade. And then I can just buy this stuff back. Some peaches. I don't know. Should I just sell them everything? Besides my beans? And my horse reviver? Beans and horse reviver is all I need. There we go. There, I'm not dead broke now. Appreciate it. That should help keep us going. <laughs> yeah, give him a shit ton of alcohol. That'll keep us going. <laughs> All right. Pleasure doing business. I'm not dead broke now. Come on, Poncho. Let's get out of here. Boy. We're just exploring this country. 20 minutes in and I haven't 20 minutes into recording and I haven't even done a mission yet. So I just bought up <laughs> I just bought stuff and I just sold it right away. Oh well, I bought an expensive shirt that I didn't even look at the price. But whatever. It is a cool shirt though. Ran something over. Yep. Should I go see what it was? <laughs> I ran over a little Tweety Bird. Alright, yep. we're almost here.
Thomas Downs. He's got a fire. Should I just murder all of his, like, sheep? Is he gonna be inside again? Or no. There he is. Give us our money, you son of a bitch. You, uh, uh, whatever do you want? Mr. Thomas Downs? You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm. We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm, I'll. Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Give it. Cough it up. <laughs> this is not Pull him up. of my debt. This is just a stay. What? You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debt... I'm... I'm not running... How's that debt looking now? <sighs> you borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him and took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Taken over. We aren't charity. That was nice. Brought us all the way back to camp. Sounds good to me. That's where I wanted to be anyways. I'm guessing I'm going to talk to Strauss. Because this is a Strauss mission. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Then, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. So I, oh, I have a letter over here or something. Right? What is this? Letter inspect. Dear How are we getting Austin, letters? I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. 
I would love to see you again, if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Ballantyne. Yours, Mary Linton. Mary Linton. Must be Arthur's old woman. Alright, so there's another mission that we can do. What time is it? 9 p.m. and I haven't slept in a day, so I'm going to sleep. Till morning. Nine hours. Good nine hours. I haven't slept in a day. Maybe we'll go see what Mary has to say. Change clothes first. All right, there we go. I like that. I like this outfit for Arthur. The blue shirt with the vest. Um, should we go see Mary? Can we see Mary? Yeah. So we only have that one, and then Dutch mission. So let's save the Dutch mission. Let's go see Mary and Valentine. Bill. Just laying on the fucking ground. <clears throat> Alright. Let's go see our old our old lady. See what she has to say. Probably wants to get back together with Arthur. But didn't it say she was married? But then it said she had bad luck, so maybe she's not married? If I remember... Actually, I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to spoil it. It is 7.37 a.m., 40 degrees out. Oh, it's Uncle. I couldn't even under... I know. He said lumbago, and I was like, wait. Wait a second. What do you mean? Just wait till you're old. I'll be at camp if you need me. You're lucky your head ain't stove in. You know, hold yourself. I don't need luck. I got guile. Guile. That's a word I haven't heard in a long time. Guile. I don't even know if I know what that means. Mm -hmm. Alright, Uncle's wrong? getting himself in predicaments in Morning. town. Like, I, like Uncle should. Alright, Mary. Where you at, girl? Big dick's back in town, Mary. Where you at? Inappropriate. We loved once and true. You guys can't see that because I'm covering it up. Yes? Um, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Goddamn. Hell of a in introduction. Good morning to you, too. Hello, Sheesh. Arthur. Mary is sexy. Mary? No. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's-his-name? Died. Knew it. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh, well, you've been. <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Uh, okay. Listen, 
Arthur, I... I'm... My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family. But it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't yeah, want to Yeah, what the hell? Me, but, but I think of you often. Long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, <coughs> Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Do we help? This is the old... Alright, fine. Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. That was a lot of story, te uh, story, character development right there. So Arthur wasn't good enough for Mary's family, huh? Well, fooey on that. Arthur's the best. He's a little rough, but still. All right, where is this? Where is this fucker? Yeah, okay. Alright. Here we go. Going to save Jamie, I think was his name. So I'm not good enough until you need my help. Sure. It's only because Mary's hot that I'm helping her. They did they did make Mary very hot in this game. But But Arthur's hot too, so that's fine. They have a long history together. I should kill an elk one of these one of these days. But it's not it's not the mission right now. Oh god. You better shut up that pretty mouth, or I'll shut it for you. What's going on? I've been kidnapped! Help! Help me! Someone! Oh god! You just had to get nosy, didn't you? Guess I'm Oh! No! God damn it. I don't know why I'm helping everybody. Normally I just kill people. Help me off this goddamn horse. Just fall off. Roll off. Is 
Is it gonna take off again? God! Oh my god. Oh fuck. Should I just shoot the goddamn thing? Trying to shoot the horse so I can get you down. What the hell is over here now? Jesus Christ. So I don't know if lassoing it's the right move. not helping that I'm on the side of a mountain. I'm trying. Am I just terrible at this game? Why can I not do this? Did I kill her? Is she dead? This whole thing for nothing. Finally! Oh my... <laughs> oh, she's still alive? Oh, she is. She's gonna be terrified of me. Goddamn horse! Come on, boy. That was fucking awful. Idiot. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that did not go good at all. Let's just say that. I'm gonna cut that out of the video so no one has to watch that. What the hell was I supposed to do? I want to see what I can do with the shooter. Come at me, bro. I just shot a horse seven times in the ass. Are they coming after me? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Too much goddamn excitement. Okay then. Oh my god. Due to recent crimes, it's unavailable. Fuck off. Yeah. So I have to go kill time or some shit? Let's try this again. Going to my horse right now. Chelonian. I'll show you Chelonian. Chelonian, that ass. Gotta speak to the boy. Arthur? No, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. Path to truth. This is like a cult. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. 
The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? Danger. I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut, dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? Yes. Only when dealing with idiots. Now let me talk to the boy. Goddamn lunatic. Am I getting through to you now? Stop it, Arthur. <clears throat> That's enough, Arthur. Kid, come. <laughs> this is I just this choked that guy to death. <laughs> Paradise. Now let me take you home. You're a sad man, Arthur. You're a real sad man. Sure. Well, come home. Not a chance! Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask God damn. Know. Why is everyone else's horse way faster than mine? I just choked that guy to death. And I didn't even know what I was doing, really. I think this is another one of those chases where I'm just supposed to chase and not do anything else. Oh my god. How old is Jamie? I do not know. For sakes, Jamie, just hold up a minute. Come on, you ain't stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one. I was doing just fine by myself. My horse is tired, Jamie. Stop. That fence. The fuck? Well, I killed the the head guy, so that's all done with now. Damn. Please, Arthur. I'm a man now. I, I found something. A calling. You're just a kid. You're making a big mistake. I'm not taking advice from you. You're an outlaw. You leave me alone. They're good people. I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> leave me alone. Please. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Am I gonna have to shoot it out of his hand? Ow! Oh! Shit! I didn't know how to do that. All right. Uh, let's retry from checkpoint. And let's try this again. Right. I warn you, Arthur. I'm. I'm gonna. I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just. Okay. So what did the? Leave me alone. Okay. So. Part two. I think I missed, but it down. worked. Let's go see your sister. Okay. God damn. Okay. <laughs> Oh man. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? Yes. I don't know. I don't know enough about 
But one thing I do know. <laughs> Gives it right back to him. Ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I miss you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's God, that's such an old-fashioned thing. Are you guys sweet on each other again? Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Let's just go this way. Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. Didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. So only you know, really, you'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. Sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. <laughs> All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father. Nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. So Arthur really doesn't like this, this the dad. I'm not good at anything. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard, then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Here we are. Oh God. Must be waiting inside. It's true though. Just do whatever the fuck you like. Make it quick or I might run off again. Can I be sweet on Mary? Move it. Jesus, I'm just trying to fucking walk. Oh. Jamie! Jamie! Come home, please. You've... Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. What a gentleman. You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. That's all she has to say to me? After I just saved... her brother? feel like the luckiest man alive and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but somehow I imagine I shall. True. All right, on that note, We'll end the video. So a lot of character development this this episode. Learned about Arthur's past with Mary. How he hates her father. And all of this all everything like that. Alright. 
Let's. You know what? I'm gonna ride back to ride back to camp quick, and then I'll then I'll save. You got nothing better. All right, I made it back to camp. My mustache looks like it's growing in a little bit better, so that's good. All right, that is gonna be the end of this video. All right, I think this is going to be something happening, so I'm going to stop, and we'll do that next episode. But, yes, thank you for watching. Peace out. Have a good one. Um, Arthur and Mary sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G.